Hey guys, so with back to school coming around, I thought it would be fun to do a little DIY project. So today I'm going to show you how to make these magnetic locker bins that you guys can use to organize all your stuff. So let's just get started. But Romeo and Juliet, mind if we left Shakespeare's pen somehow, before they came out. I built a machine, let's go for a ride, race what we want and keep what we like. If I could go back and rewrite history, tell me baby would you like how it turned out? If we solved every scientific mystery. First I'm going to show you guys how to make these fabric covered bins. So start off with your cardboard and you're going to mark how tall you want your bin to be. Then once you connect those lines, mark how wide you want your bin to be. The width of your bin depends on the width of your locker because you want the locker to be able to close. Here I'm cutting out that rectangle with an X-Acto knife but later I found out that using scissors was much easier. Next I made another one of those rectangles by tracing it and cutting it out again. Once you're done cutting out these rectangles, you now have the back and the front of your little shelf. Now it's time to make the sides. To make it easier, I'm just using the leftover cardboard from when I cut out the back and the front so that I already have the measurements of how tall I need it to be. Once you lay it out, you should have four pieces that look a little something like this. All that's left is the bottom, so to make the bottom, I just laid out all the pieces and then traced the rectangular hole that was in the center. So now we have the flattened out version of a rectangular prism. To wrap the cardboard that we just made, I'm just tracing it, flipping it up, and then tracing it again. And you're going to want to cut around the outline that you made. So not actually on the outline, but around it. Next, you're going to want to cut little squares in the corner as shown right there. And this is just going to make it easier to fold later on. Tell me, baby, what you like how it's I'm going to be using a hot glue gun to glue the fabric onto the cardboard. So I'm just gluing the edge of the cardboard and then folding down that little flap that we made earlier. Once that's glued down, you're going to want to make little snips right there and then you're going to glue those little flaps down. And finally, I'm cutting off that little excess fabric bit right here and then just gluing that whole piece down. Next, just repeat that whole process on all the pieces of cardboard. The Trojan War was fought for you And it didn't matter then Like it does right now Like it does right now but Romeo When all your pieces of cardboard are covered, you can finally put your bin together. So when you're gluing the bin together, make sure you press hard on the pieces so that your bin doesn't fall apart. I built a machine, let's go for a ride Race what we want and keep what we like If I could go back and rewrite history Tell me baby what you like how it's And then you can just glue some magnets on the back of your bin. Now this is optional but I decided to make some decorative label type things. So I cut out some teal paper and I just wrote my name on it and stuck it on with some hot glue. And then you're done. That's how I made my magnetic locker shelf. But if you want to use some paper to cover the cardboard instead, all you have to do is use a glue stick instead of a glue gun. That way there will be no lumps in the paper. But of course you still have to use a glue gun to attach the bin together because it's stronger. So yeah, that's it. That's how you make your very own magnetic locker shelves. I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I put in my locker shelf. So I have some hand sanitizer because high school kids are dirty 
<laughs> and I also have some EOS hand cream because nothing's worse than dry hands. And lastly, I have my Revlon lip butter in Berry Smoothie. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!